So today we're doing a Q&A video. Thank you all for asking us your questions. Um, we'll try to get through as many as we can today, but if we can't get through all of them, we'll do another one in the future. And also, if you want any more questions answered, just leave them in the comments below for future Q&A videos. So here we go. So the first question we're going to answer is, what do you plan to do as a career and do you plan on having horses in your future career? So we do not plan on having a career with horses really. Brienne is a registered nurse and I still have a semester left of school and I will be a registered nurse as well. Um, but sometime in the distant future we hope to maybe flip horses or do something like that. Yeah. So next question, uh, do you have a holy grail grooming product? I think the only thing that comes to mind really is the soft Oster brush because it's like in between, it's not really soft but it's like soft mm -hmm. enough that it does get the fine dust off, but it's still hard enough that it gets like all the major dirt off too. So it's kind of like a nice all-in-one brush. You don't need to use like three different brushes. That's probably our holy grail, mm -hmm. the Oster Soft Brush. So the next question is, what got you guys into riding and do you plan on showing? So I guess what got us into riding was well, one of our friends like that we met in kindergarten, her mom had a horse and we would go to the barn with her sometimes. So that's like what introduced us to riding and then we went to summer camp, horse camp for two summers so that's what really got us into it in like grade six and seven I think. Um, and do we plan on showing is a good question. Um, maybe, I guess is yeah. the answer. We're hoping to free release something probably in January or February so depending on what kind of horse we can get and how, if our riding ability improves yeah. in that time then possibly. So that's the answer. <laughs> Alright, so the next question is, what was your worst fall? Um, I think my worst fall, it wasn't like a bad fall, I just kind of like flew off the side of the horse, but I ended up landing straight on my tailbone and I like could not walk or bend down for like a month. It was really, really bad, but yeah. And I don't really have a worst fall. All my falls have been pretty like non-bad. I just stand up, get back on, and keep riding, so <laughs> that's about it. The next question is, how long have you been riding for? And we've been riding like consistently taking lessons for maybe like three and a half years now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we started riding when we were like 12 or something, but not consistently. So basically just three and a half years. And the next question is how high have you jumped? Um, I think the highest we've jumped is about three feet. Um, it was just in like a grid, so it was pretty, I don't know, it's pretty easy to increase your height when you're jumping through a grid. but. Yeah, we don't jump like three foot courses or anything. We usually but. jump around two to six in our lessons consistently, but. Mm -hmm. Well, someone asked what the age, name, and breed of the horses are that we ride. So, um, I ride a horse named Lily, and she's apparently a warm blood cross thoroughbred, but she just looks like a straight thoroughbred because she's so skinny and not warm bloody at all. <laughs> um, I think she's probably like 16 hands or 16 one, maybe. Yeah. And uh, I think she's like six years old. And the horse that I ride, her name is Secret. Um, she's a thoroughbred, but she looks more like a warm, bloody type than Lily does, but she's a, just plain thoroughbred. Um, she's a bay, she's 11 years old, I think, and she's like 16, two, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone asked, what is the best thing about being twins? And I'd have to say probably that we have everything in common, I guess. It's like having your best friend live with you, which is pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we like all the same things. We have the same friends, um, same, same job. Same job. <laughs> Not all twins are like that, though. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess just someone who has all the same things in common as you is the best part about being twins. Someone asked, do we lease our own? And the answer is we just ride lesson horses, but uh, we are planning on getting a free lease horse after Christmas, maybe in January or February, which is really exciting and we'll probably have tons of tag hauls up then because we don't yeah. own any horse stuff. And so more riding videos. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really exciting news coming up. The next question is, do you prefer a horse with nice confirmation or one with three nice gates? Um, I think, I don't know, probably a nice confirmation. I can't handle horses that have like a really long skinny neck or like a huge body and a small head. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and I think like this isn't always the case, but if your horse has good confirmation, it probably is quite comfortable to ride. Yeah. Like it, the gates probably are nice, but I don't know. I guess that could be not true also. If you have a horse with like a really bumpy canter or trot, that's pretty annoying too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, probably confirmation. Yeah. <laughs> um, where was it? 
Oh yeah, if you were going to show at an A-rated show, which one would it be and would you show at Bromont? Oh, well, <laughs> I think the only A-rated show we would go to is probably Thunderbird because it's like half an hour from our house. And no, I would not show at Bromont because I would not travel to Quebec to show a horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the next question is, what is your favorite brand of breeches and what is your favorite brand of tack? So our favorite brand of breeches are Tailored Sportsman's, mm -hmm. and what's your favorite brand of tack? Oh, I don't know. If I was going to get a saddle, then a CWD, um, I don't know, any French sort of brand of yeah. tack. Antare, CWD, yeah. all those ones. So would you ever consider riding Western? Um, I think so. Yeah. Like we started out riding western, but like we never actually took like serious lessons or anything. But I would be into like learning how to actually ride western properly. Yeah. But not at, like as a primary discipline no. or anything like that. Yes, and the a lot of the horses in, they use in western riding are really pretty. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your favorite horse breed? And I think we kind of share the same. We both like Irish sport horses. Mm -hmm. They're quite nice. Alright, the next question is, do you like jumping or flat work more? Um, I don't know. I think I like both. <laughs> jumping is always fun, mm -hmm. um, but flat work can be good too, yeah. depending on what you're doing. I kind of like when you like do flat work like in a grid and then you turn it into jumps. Like I like grid work, so kind of like a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is the last question. Someone asked, are we going to have a meetup at the main event? which is like a big horse expo happening close to us in a couple, or this weekend. Mm -hmm. And the answer is, we will not be having like a formal meetup, but if you do see us at the main event, don't be scared to come say hi. We'd love to meet some of you. Yeah, I think that some of the um, equestrian girls on Tumblr are doing a meetup there, so you might see some other people you know from online, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you have any more questions that we didn't answer in this video, feel free to leave them below in the comments. Bye!